and welcome to Kate's Coaching Corner, where every single week I bring you tips, highlights, and a challenge moving forward. So this week I thought I would bring you two very cool tools that do essentially the same thing and let you decide what would be best for your classes. So both of these are great tools if you want students to create a literal storybook of the content that they are learning. So the first tool is called Story Jumper. And this is an example that was just online of what a student created. Um, you create the whole aspect of this book, and if you really, really love it, you can even purchase a hard copy to keep with you forever, which is kind of interesting. Um, but if you flip through, you will see that there's a bunch of different templates that students can use um, for visuals, and then they add text for their story, or if you want to make it a portfolio of the content that they are working on, it's up to you how you want them to use it. I know it looks a little bit elementary, but I've used it a lot in my own classrooms, and students really love it because it's easy to use, and, and there's a lot of drag and drop that goes on with, with creating this. The next tool I actually shared on Google Classroom with you, this is an example of all the different ways you can use Book Creator, which is another tool that allows students to create stories or portfolios. And this example that I shared with you has a bunch of examples of how teachers are using it in their classroom. So check it out if you haven't. But I love that it gives you options to create uh, visuals with pictures that you have on your computer. You can add videos that you have, Google Docs. So it's a great option for a portfolio for students to really prove to you what they know about your content in a very creative way. So both of these are great. If you have questions about them and want to try it, please let me know and I'd love to help. Next, I want to highlight a social studies teacher, Aaliyah Hammerstone, who did a breakout EDU in her US history classes. And she put a lot of time and effort into it. If you're not sure what it is, she, she created a bunch of puzzles and clues for students to work together to solve. And they had to break into a box with a bunch of locks um, in order to get a prize. So I thought I would let her explain how it went and why she likes it. Once I started, it was really addictive and I was really excited about it. So. I think one of the things that worked really well is there was a variety of different like DOK levels. There were some just simple like recall and matching and then there were some um, more challenging like reading and analyzing and practicing close reading and SAT style questions. So I think it helped to kind of break up the types of activities and the kids got really into it and um, they were really excited to get the candy at the end. So I think that that was a motivating factor and I noticed that all my students were participating which was really exciting so I think overall it was a huge success. So thank you so much for Leah for the invite in to see this in action because it was a phenomenal experience for all of your students and there was great collaboration happening all over the place so well done. Lastly I want to thank everyone that has gotten their name up on our new bingo board already. It's so exciting to see what you guys are trying and doing in your classrooms. You're absolutely amazing and I want to let you know that if you're not sure what some of those things are or you want to try it but you're not sure how to start that's what you've got coaches for so please feel free to ask myself amy or vicky if you have any questions and want to get your name up there the whole idea is to try new things so please reach out if you need it i hope you guys stay warm have a wonderful weekend and i will catch you next week